Hey there, Binary Bot Rookies. It's your boy, the AI millionaire, back at it again with lesson number three of our epic Binary Bot series. Now, now, now. If you're new here, welcome to the gang. And for the OGs, you know what's up. If you haven't watched the first two lessons, hit that reverse and do the woe so we can all be on the same page. You dick. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button so we can keep sticking it to the YouTube algorithm. In today's lesson, we're gonna deal with the brains of our bot. Yep, we're gonna give our bot a strategy to work with. But before we get into it, let's talk about the different types of bots out there. We've got bots that are driven by strategy, algorithms, and even madness. Yup, I said it, madness. But for this lesson, we're gonna focus on the strategy-driven bots. So first things first, let's pick up where we left off last time. Click on the folder icon and then click on load to choose the bot you save. Back in business. Now, click on the binary tab and then the tick analysis section. Drag this block and put it somewhere we can work with. Excellent. Next, go back to the binary tab and click on the tools section. Click on the time section and drag this block to the previous one we just pulled. Change the value to zero and we're golden. Now, on to the juicy part. Go to the Advanced tab and click on the Variable section. Drag this block that says, Set Martingale to, and attach it to the previous block we just worked on. As you can see, this block is in the form of a question and every question, except rhetorical ones, need an answer. So, we're gonna give our bot friend all the answers it needs. Go to the Advanced tab and pick the block that says, get sublist from, and attach it to the previous block we just worked on. Next, we're gonna fill in the blank sections. But before we do that, switch where it says Martingale for LDL. Hilarious, I know. Go back to the binary tab, click on the tick analysis section and then click on advanced. You'll see these blocks. Pick the last digit list block and replace the list block with it. Go to the math section and pull this block and duplicate it. Put one here and the other one on the other spot. Switch the hash with the one that says number from end and change the value of the first one to three and the other one to one. Is a pizzit lemon squeezy. Now, let me explain the simple strategy that our bot is going to work with. Our bot is going to scan the last digit list and if at any point the last digit is one followed by another random digit, and then another one, our bot is going to enter the trade with a prediction of one. This means that if the next tick after our entry is not one, we win that trade. If it is one, well, that's a losing trade my dudes. It's time to get goofy with this strategy. But hold your horses. We're not promising any profits here, we're just here to learn. So let's get cracking. Head on over to the logic tab and grab this magical block that's gonna allow us to add some if, else and else if statements. Attach that bad boy below this other block. Now let's go back to the logic tab and grab this awesome equal to block that's gonna help us set some conditions for our bot. Stick it on there and let's go to the binary tab and find that last digit block. Duplicate it and plop it down right here. If you mess up, don't worry, just hit that undo or redo button. Now let's add an and block because two is better than one. Make it external, duplicate it, and attach them like this. See how easy this is. Now let's head on over to the advanced section and drag this block all the way down here. Boom. Duplicate that baby and stick it here too. If you're lost, take a breather and hit that pause button. We gotta add an else statement. So click on this settings button and drag that else block down. Got it. Good. 
let's grab that equal to block from the logic tab and stick it here. Change that list to LDL and pause the video to do the same for the other block. Great job. Now switch that equal sign to a not equal sign on the second block. Room is done, folks. Let's tell that bot what to do when our conditions are met. Head on over to the advanced tab and find that variable section. Grab that set martingale to block and stick it in the do section. Duplicate it and change that bad boy to edge with a value of 100. Now switch that value to zero and stick it in the else section. Almost there, guys. Let's tell that bot when to purchase that contract. Head on over to the watch and purchase block and try to fix it like this. Awesome, save that bot and give it a spin. That's it for lesson 3, folks. I hope you had fun and learned something new. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more lessons. Until next time, it's your boy, the AI Millionaire.
Signing off with A. Imwana. Hey.